if one wants to have infinite happiness, infinite bliss, then we ought to minimize numbers of desires from more and more of it to less and less and finally, if possible, to zero. Hello everyone. In today's session, I would like to cover perhaps the most interesting topic. We all seek happiness, emotional support and a loving relationship. So we'll talk today at length, not so much in details, but some principles which governs the laws of happiness, how to increase emotional intelligence and better our relationships. Let me start this session with a quote from German philosopher Schopenhauer. He asked, how can we determine whether a man is happy or unhappy? He defined true happiness as the complete satisfaction of all desires. Is it possible? You could say that the happiness of a person can be described mathematically. One of those lighter moments, this equation came as an inspiration. Like if all the desires are fulfilled, let's say you had 10 desires. And out of these 10 desires, all 10 desires are fulfilled. That means 10 divided by 10 times 100 will be 100% happiness, isn't it? Let's see if out of 10, only 5 are fulfilled, then it would be 50%. But think of an individual who says he has no desires, the total number would be zero. So what would happen to this equation? Happiness is equal to desires fulfilled divided by total number of desires. Where total number of desires tend to be zero, Anything you divide by zero remains indeterminate factor. Earlier days we used to call it as infinite. In a desireless state, we don't expect anything. When you expect nothing, you accept everything, no matter what happens around us. When we realize that something is beyond me. I am pushed into a certain situation where I have no other choice but to accept that scenario. That's a good situation, though it can bring about a lot of turbulence and turmoils in life. But accepting whatever be the situation helps us. Suppose you don't accept certain thing that has happened in family and you go on fighting. What do you learn out of this? But the moment we learn things wisely, we accept because your heart says, because your heart feels that love. Love makes us forget all kinds of defects in others. And it is out of this love that acceptance emerges, out of compassion. How one destroys inner emotional state? Our experiences show that when you are angry, that's the moment when we lose this inner emotional balance, that happiness seems to simply disappear in feet of anger. And when does anger appear in the heart? When certain things are happening against your will or against your desire. So such disappointment leads to anger. Anger makes us lose our balance. And once we lose our mental equilibrium, somehow we lose our humanity because humanity 
that human nature, human character, it is all about humanness, which arises from the heart. When heart it is in a state of anger because a small desire was not fulfilled, then it speaks a lot about our nature. We need to change that inner nature so that we remain in a position to accept things. If one wants to have infinite happiness, infinite bliss, then we ought to minimize numbers of desires from more and more of it to less and less and finally, if possible, to zero. When we go on expecting things in our relationship from the other, what happens? When that expectation is not fulfilled, we think less of the other person. Over a period of time, this relationship somehow is strained, simply out of this expectation. We need input to stabilize any relationship, to iron out the wrinkles or differences, so that we don't harbor and store things forever. But do we really need constant input to bring stability and maintain a relationship? That would be a high maintenance relationship that you have to fuel so much. You have to make adjustment all the time. When constant input is required every time, there is a fight or tension with a friend or family member. You will require greater input each time. Imagine you come late at home and you have to justify to your spouse, honey, I'm sorry, I have stuck somewhere because whatever. Second time it happens, third time it happens. And we have to go on saying, what will be the reasons? But in true relationships, you just mention what has happened and that is enough. There is no defense, but only description of what has happened. In a family, if you have to tolerate each other, then constant input is required. In situations where you have to give constant emotional input, it is a broken family, even though you may be together. In true relationship, it is not the tolerance that rules the life, but acceptance of each other, which is arising out of love, mutual love. In such a state of love, where things are taken for granted, you don't need explanations, you don't have to speak lies, you don't have, need to manipulate any reasons. So it is the love that you have in your heart, that is the input that stabilizes relationships. Love brings a greater level of acceptance. From where does this love come? From a pure heart from a truthful, genuine heart. Mm -hmm.